Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Monday on FIFA 22, and we have a footies SBC today that is going away, and it's the 85 times 10. But what I want to talk to you today about is the potential for that SBC to actually come back and also be repeatable because it happened last year. And I want to take a look back at last year because EA actually made the SBC harder to complete even though they made it repeatable. So we're going to take a look at that today. And I want to talk through the upgrade packs that are on this game. A lot of people right now, of course, if you're grinding the game, you need fodder, right? I want to take you guys through a way where you might still have some cards in your club to get a couple of these upgrade packs done a little bit cheaper and maybe rinse out your club with some unneeded and unnecessary cards, but then give you a chance at some 82 plus player picks or maybe a 75 times 5 upgrade and talk through these upgrade packs a little bit and what might be the best way to do them since everybody right now needs fodder. We'll also take a look at the market, take a look at fodder prices because they are sky high as expected and as planned, to be honest, with footies content continuing to be insane. So we'll talk about all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for the 85 times 10, once again, hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about that SBC first of all, because today it does expire. And this is, of course, a fan favorite SBC. Last Monday was the day that it dropped, but it was, of course, non-repeatable in the fact that you couldn't do it more than one time per day. We, we did this SBC a total of three times over the week that it was released. Now, last year, EA kind of did the same thing where they released the 85 times 10 the first time non-repeatable. It was 170K, right? You can see it right here. 85 times 10 during footies non-repeatable they then released it one singular week later right july 19th went all the way to the 26th one week later they released the next 85 times 10 and they released it repeatable that's why i think this is going off a little bit of a you know a whim kind of clutching at straws just a little bit but ea like to repeat themselves we know this year in year out they like to do this I think today there's a chance that they could re-release the 85 times 10 repeatable in the likes that we could do it more than one time per day. Now, I know EA is a lot more, you know, complex this year by allowing us to do SBCs multiple times per week, not just making it either repeatable or non-repeatable like they did last year. So last year we had the regular one that was one squad, right? 85 rated squad, that was it. Or sorry, 87 rated squad with the team of the season, that was it. And then when they re-released it as repeatable, they made it annoying. And you guys might, might remember this. You had to turn in four different squads for the repeatable 85 times 10, and it was all the lower tier fodder. Instead of one 87 squad with a team of the week or a team of the season, you had to do a rare gold squad, an 80 rated squad, an 82 rated squad, and then an 85 rated squad all together. So that the price was actually the same, right? It went from 170K to 172K. But it just got four times more annoying because you had to do four SBCs instead of one. Now, I don't know if EA is going to do that this year. I really hope that they don't because all that I see coming out of this for an 82 and an 80 rated squad, like all I see there is just more of the low tier end of the fodder market going higher. And 84s are already at 7K. I mean, look at these cards. Jack Grealish is like six and a half, seven thousand 7,000 coins. And yesterday on Sunday, all these guys spiked to 7.5K plus because we had the Pato SBC that was out and the 85 times 10 was repeatable again uh, yesterday before it's going to go away today. So in my opinion, if they're going to do that, it's going to make these 84s go even higher if they make it like they did last year and require more of the lower tier squads and more of the lower tier cards. So I really hope what they just do today is re-release the exact same one that we have had just re-release the 85 times 10 that is one squad and get it done because a lot of us people right now in fifa we have higher rated fodder and this year's 85 times 10 is cheaper too by the way 120,000 coins big dub but a lot of us are opening these fodder packs or we've opened you know upgrade packs player picks anything along those likes and we have got a lot of this high rated fodder right we've got guys that are like 88 89 rated and that's why all of this high rated fodder is so Dirt cheap. I mean, 93 rated cards are 35K. That's ridiculous compared to what they usually are during the year, right? 88s are usually like what? Upwards of 20,000 coins for most part of the year. Yeah, they're 14K, 15K. Okay, sorry, that's 87s. 88s are 18,000 coins. 89s are also 18, 19K. It's crazy, right? All of the demand right now in this game is for 83s, 84s, 85s, and the low tier stuff. 
83s are approaching 4K. It's crazy. So I think there's just going to be more demand today, regardless of whether they release the 85 times 10 repeatable or they just release it non-repeatable once again. But I would say this, whatever you need to do to get fodder ready, get it ready because I, I do think that we will see an 85 times 10 today. I really think it just depends on whether EA upgrades that to be a repeatable 85 10 or they keep it the same as it did last week. Maybe let us do it once per day instead of once every couple days. We'll just have to see. So that's, I think, definitely coming back today. I think that'll be the biggest piece of content. Now, the other stuff I want to talk about today is you know, let's just stick on the on the topic of Monday, right? What other content are we going to get today? Well, we've got the 86 plus player pick every single day. That's cool. GG's. I've seen people pack six stuff out of those. Now, last Monday, we actually had an icon player SBC as well. We had the Pushkas. I believe it was last Monday. We had Pushkas. Now, Pushkas was leaked ahead of time. And right now we have no leaks. It's very quiet on that front. So we are just kind of, you know, guessing at what type of player SBC could next. Here's what I'll say. They've dropped Eusebio. They've dropped Garincha. They've dropped Pushkas recently as icon player SBCs. EA Sports, it is the week of Brazil content. It is the time to drop, I think, this SBC right here. Ronaldinho, 2.9 mil, 2 point whatever million coins. He's not outrageously expensive, and it would be perfect for people right now to put their Brazil squads together to upgrade their squads if you drop that SBC. Now, Pele is still like 3.9 million coins. And of course, Moments R9 is, I almost typed in Cristiano, whoops. <laughs> Moments R9 is still like 7 million coins. So, you know, I think that R9 and Pele might be a little bit too expensive, but if they really wanted to, I think today would be a fantastic time to drop a Moments Ronaldinho as an icon moments player SBC. So there's no leaks. Again, I'm, I'm, not, I'm just saying that EA, you have a great opportunity here to fit it in with the Brazil theme that is going on in this game right now. Please do it. We would love it. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. There's no leaks again there. I think that would just be great if they did. Watch out for many, uh, potentially any leaks today. I think there could be an early morning Monday leak from Foot Sheriff, potentially. Um, just because it seems like really, really quiet on that front. And I think we'd have to get something other than the 85 times 10 today, but maybe not other than the 85 times 10 and the 86 plus refreshing. I really don't know what would drop today. We're not expecting more swaps tokens via objectives. This is a nice reminder that if you haven't turned in any of your summer swaps, one tokens, these actually expire today on Monday. It is the end, like these rewards will go away. So if you have any swap tokens left, make sure you go ahead, claim those. Uh, if you can, you know, fit them into anything or if you do any last minute, you know, objectives to get them done, I bet those are expiring a lot of them as well, the last minute ones of those tokens. So make sure you turn these and those in if that attains to you. Now, that's kind of Monday content, right? Let's talk a little bit about these upgrade packs and upgrade SPCs because EA has kind of released a very grindable, menu content piece with the three upgrades that we have right now we've got the common triple gold upgrade we got the 75 times 5 and we have the 82 plus now in my opinion there's one of these that's not that good and it's the 75 times 5 i actually did five of these yesterday by going into my club getting rare silvers i sorted by low to high i sorted by um i should have just sorted by untradeable but i think i was turning some tradables in as well all these silvers right now on the market all rare silvers are like 900 coins 800 900 coins a piece because people like the 75 times five now in my opinion i would go in and sell your silver rares i think that's the best way to do this and maybe sell around the content drop time wow they're even more than this man are they, are they a thousand coins? Yeah, silvers are basically 1k for rare silvers. I think, yes, the 75 times 5 is a decent SBC. I opened five of them yesterday, did not get a single card that was a special. I think maybe I got an inform and that was it, or, or one special card out of five. So out of 25 players, technically 75 plus, I got like one special card and I think maybe one other card that was over 80 rated like these were not good for me so if they're good for your account then maybe keep doing them but i think this week where the real grind in the menus is going to be because we all need fodder right i think it's a combination of the common gold triple right here and the 82 plus player pick you're like nate why the common gold triple well you can turn in bronze or silver common players into this, which I'm sure, like if I look at my club and look at bronze commons, low to high, I've got pages of these guys, right? I've got absolute pages of these. I can just turn in, boom, six of these players really quick, submit this, 
And okay, 20 chemistry. Wow, I can't believe I don't have 20 chemistry. That's pretty difficult to believe, but of somehow we've attained that 19. Let me swap these guys, boom, 23. So you get 20 chemistry, you submit it, boom. You get three gold rare players, right? Well, what do you need for an 82 plus player pick? You need six gold rare players. So what I would recommend doing is going through your club. And if you're in this dire need of fodder, I think it's worth doing. Go in and rinse out your bronze commons, rinse out, rinse out your silver commons even, even though you don't need to turn in silvers for this, rinsing out your silver commons could be a good idea to do this as well. Probably your untradeable ones, just to be safe, you could sell some of your tradable ones as there's still a few league SBCs that are out and all that good stuff. But rinse your commons, silver and bronze into this, get a bunch of non-rares. Then what you can do is go into your club and you can go buy rares if you have to or use the rares that you have and go through and uh, fill out 82 plus player picks. You put in the five non-rares, right? And then you put in the six rares. And I think that's the way to do upgrade packs this week. Now, if you're like, Nate, dude, I have a bunch of silver rares and I wanna rinse them into the 75 times five, I don't blame you because again, I love the packs where you get multiple cards back instead of just getting one card back, right? You're, you're getting every single time you're getting five when you do the 75 times five upgrade. So I'm a big fan of that. And I understand where your argument is coming from. If you're still doing those upgrade packs, they just weren't that good for me. And the 82 pluses are so cracked this week. They are so cracked. It's probably gonna be terrible here for me. Okay. There's my point. 90 rated Raheem the dream. Like Almost every other one of these, you're getting a really, really high rated player. And it's so, 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 so good for fodder. So that's why I really recommend the 82 plus player pick. And I think that a lot of us might have bronze non-rares or silver non-rares in our club that we could take some time and go through this method and, and grind it out. Again, it is a bit of a grind, but I think it's worth it. And I think you get a lot of good fodder with there being such great player pick content, the icon upgrade with the Brazil specific all that stuff right now, it's kind of worth the grind. So that's why I wanted to take a minute or two and just share my opinion on that in this video is because a lot of people this week need fodder. And I think that's a way to do it where EA has given us this the ability to grind uh, the objectives or sorry, the SBCs right here. Now, we did talk about fodder a little bit. One thing I want to speak about as well is there's actually a glitch in the objectives at the moment for the footies brazil cup and i'm going to talk you guys through this really quick if you haven't seen any information on it i am playing this this week kind of half-heartedly because man oh man is it sweaty i tell you what this is incredibly sweaty but anyways i am at six wins right i'm at six wins um so far in the past two days that i've played this i've missed a couple games it is what it is but if i check out the win 18 and the win 27 objectives you will see that the win counter is off I have actually played 10 games and won six. EA has messed up the win 18 and the win 27 objectives so that it does not count the wins. It counts your games played. So if you're playing the Brazil Cup, the best advice I could give you is do not rage quit because if you rage quit, you do not get the progress of this game being played fully. And as of right now, I would try to play as many games as you can on the front side of things if you can because if EA get wind of this, they could update it and they could um, fix it. So as, as many games you can get in ahead of time is probably the best way to do it. So you can get as much progress as you can. Also, EA might not even fix this. They've been taking ages with every other error and every other mess up that they've had recently. They've been taking ages to fix it. So that's the other side of the coin. But at the moment, make sure you're not rage quitting in the Brazil Cup and you're playing your games out because... All you have to do is basically play 18 games and play 27 games and you'll get these rewards as they are coded right now, which is kind of a dub, uh, but also technically a glitch. So I think they might want to fix that, but we'll have to see. I wanted to mention that today in the video because I know a lot of you guys, myself included, are grinding that game mode. Now, let's talk about the market a little bit more. As I talked about fodder, it's probably still going to go up today. We'll just mention that again. If the 85 times 10 gets re-released, people are going to go out and do that SBC fodder prices probably still going to go up if you have those cards i think i would hold honestly there's there's no other way to say it because i just don't see supply coming in uh that's really gonna make those cards drop because there's just so much demand for all the species that we have right now now let's talk footies batch two some of you guys have been asking me nate i want to buy neymar for my team i want to buy xyz person for my team that is in footies batch number two now here's what i'll say specifically for the neymar example yesterday 
um, on the game. I'm just going to search him up because I can't find his card right now in the popular page. But when the 85 times 10 was re-released and we had the Pato SBC, on both consoles, I believe, Neymar took a bit of a dive. He was 2.4, and then he went down around content in 2.3 on the PlayStation, and he was actually he's really no low on Xbox right now. He's 1.7, 1.97. Um, but like right now, Neymar is 2.42, and he was 2.3 yesterday. What I would say is, you know, if you really, really, really want to try one of these really top tier cards, a card that is in batch two, you know, maybe a Leao, maybe a Jude Bellingham, maybe it's Usman Dembele. If you guys remember last week, actually Monday and after Monday content into Tuesday, the batch one cards had a little bit of a rebound. I'm not expecting a ton of a rebound this week. And some of these players, by the way, last week did go up after weekend league rewards were given out. This week rewards are extended because of the whole mess up with, with weekend league rewards and the timing and everything. You might see a couple cards rise up today on Monday just because people still like to finish their weekend league games. You see like Militao yesterday went to 313, right? He was panic sold yesterday on Sunday with Pato and the 85 times 10 being released again. Um, so honestly, what I would say is if there's any panic at today at, at 6 p.m., 1 p.m. content, whatever the time it is for you, then I would say, hey, maybe there's an opportunity here to go out and, and take a look at some of these cards, whether you're buying it for your Brazil team, whether you're buying it for your main team, whatever it may be. Wow, Coutinho was 170. Crazy, crazy dips yesterday at content. Um, I would say an 85 times 10, especially if it is repeatable, would get people going pretty crazy. And I think you might see some low dips like you saw yesterday, um, today again on the game. So that's what I would say if you're trying to buy any cards that are involved. Uh, I guess we had the 93 plus player pick yesterday too, but it was 95% downvote. Yeah, exactly. It was really this SPC and the 85 times 10 getting people excited yesterday on the game. So if you see dips in price today, I think that's fine. If you want to go out and play your, your maybe your second half of your weekend league games or whatever it may be, um, I just wouldn't hold these cards for forever. That would be my second biggest advice is any cards that are in packs right now um, that are you know not fodder, of course, but like, let's say the Usman, the Allen St. Maximin, any of these cards that you want to buy and try for your team, I would not hold on to them forever because I think that, interesting, we're like lagging right now. Anyways, um, I, I think that these cards are definitely going to drop off more as we head into next week because these guys are going to be in packs once again um, as this batch too is a two week long batch of these cards being released in packs. So that's kind of my advice for these. I would say try it out maybe for a couple days, but I think especially as we get into this next weekend, these guys are probably going to drop off some more and drop off again. So I'd be a little bit careful with those. Uh, and, you know, shapeshifter cards, they're kind of in a weird spot because shapeshifters are still up in price. They're still doing great. I mean, Kyle Walker's 1.8 mil. That's insane how expensive he is. The Messi is still over 7 million coins. Ronaldo is still 11, 12 mil. Marcelo is still 4 million coins. These cards are just flat out rare and that's why they're staying really high in price. They're really good to trade with on fluctuations. I gotta be honest, I see a lot of them moving around a lot. Um, I guess other piece of content that we maybe would see today, it, it might not be until tomorrow on Tuesday, would be like a shapeshifter player pick. That's a pretty common uh, thing that we have seen recently too. We might have a, a shapeshifter player pick re-released, but you know, any of these cards, I would just be careful. Watch the trends. If you're trying to trade, they're great to trade with and flip because they move around in price because they're so rare. But still, these cards are probably not going to be back in packs until not this Friday, but like the next Friday after that when batch three comes out. So that'd be kind of my, I guess, suggestion and my recommendation on if you are um, trying to buy any cards for your team that might be inside of batch two. Uh, any of these cards, of course, that are on the loading screen at the moment in batch two and in packs. I don't know what was going on with the game. I, I've had issues on this game since Friday, like going and doing player picks, it would kick me out. I got a I got a, a disconnect yesterday while playing Brazil Cup and it cost me a game. I was very disappointed in that. And that's just some issues that I've had recently. I don't know if any of you guys have had that. I'm gonna do a good little re, you know, internet reset and see if that helps anything. But like I was streaming while it happened and we not like dropping frames. The stream didn't go down. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but it's another Monday on FIFA, and hopefully the 85 times 10 today is re-released with the same requirements. I think that would help a lot. I didn't say anything about Pato. I think Pato's SBC is cool. Five-star skills is great. I actually used him in game, and he, he, he wasn't as fantastic for me as I thought he was going to be, but it's still a really cool card. I didn't do Pato's flashback from earlier, so this one I had to make sure to do. And, of course, he slides right into the Brazilian 
team for the cup. So that's kind of the video for today, lads. I know it's summer content. We're trucking through it. We still have a lot that's good that's out. And that's why I wanted to take the time to talk through the upgrade pack conversation because if you have coins left, you're still grinding the content from footies. It's, it's good to be efficient because we are not done with this promo yet. There is still a lot to go. Still three weeks to go. Still a lot more content to go. So we have to be careful with our coins still, even though it's late July and we're knocking on the door of August. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.